I think, especially being an only child, I very much was in my room by myself, creating concerts for myself, and I put stuff. I put stuffed animals on the bed as my audience. <laughs> and, Sorry. And no, it's fine. Uh, I put stuffed animals and I made an audience. I would put on full blown performances. I would make music videos. I was, this is from, I also started dancing at three. So <laughs> that's right out of the womb. Um, but there is never, uh, uh, it wasn't until the pandemic where I started to feel less like a dancer, more like an artist though. Dance to me is inherently about movement and the possibility and ability of the body expressing itself through movement. It's a, it's a dance is expression and communication in which we use this incredible instrument, supercomputer vehicle that we have, which is the body to share that which lies inside of us, between us, and around us. I'm a dancer and I really enjoy being, um, and I don't always like to use the word vessel, but on some capacity vessel, but I like to be in collaboration. I really enjoy um, receiving or the helping somebody else's artistic vision with my body and mind. I've always felt a bit of an outlier. I don't know whether I was really okay with that, but becoming an artist and realizing that I was an artist made me feel okay with that. Made me feel okay with questioning that which was around me, you know, we need to question that which is seen so we can reveal that which is unseen. The mental space is really crucial for the artist experience. Even just being able to be around other artists constantly and hearing and seeing other people's process is you're kind of, you're, you're getting, you're allowing yourself to stay in. When you're just in an artistic space, when you're allowed to be in it with somebody else and even separate from your own work and just come into a rehearsal and watch somebody else or just hear somebody else talk about their process or ask them questions about their process. It, it, it gives you this space, it gives you room um, to not go into like this hole deeply into yourself but also for you to stay in, in an artistic realm, artistic practice. I think that it's crucial for the work, but it's consistent togetherness. Something about the togetherness is part of the work, is part of the rehearsal. Life and dance very much blend for me. My name is Shamel Pitts. I am a movement-based artist, which means that I dance. I teach dance, I choreograph, I direct, and I'm the artistic director of Tribe. Well, I'm Marcella Lewis. I am from Los Angeles, California. I am an artist and creator. I am a performing artist with Tribe and a choreographer. I also create jewelry. My creative capacity is pretty wide range. I'm constantly discovering new artistic talents that I have, and I'm just deeply interested in allowing myself to just, allowing the talents and the artistry to reveal itself to me. So I think that Tribe, as a multidisciplinary arts collective, is, it's about that affirmation, that each of the works that we do come from many different people's input, artistic expressions, practices, processes, skills that none of us are self-made. Yeah, my cousin says this phrase too, that we can't be our best selves by ourselves. So this sense of coming together and that coming together creates this new proposal, this new work. It's been 
really an incredible, um, deeply transformative, unique, special journey that I could really continue forever. And I feel like it's just so special. To being able to be with Tribe, being with you guys, being a part of Black Hole is how I know I'm highly favored. And really this project is stemmed from an invitation of each artist to go into themselves, discovering further their voice. The only prompt that I really gave to each of them was to consider this intersection between solitude, creativity, and solidarity. And all three of those words are ringing very loudly like gospel choir. So that invitation is also one of hope. It's one of imaginative possibilities. <laughs> it's boundless. <laughs> and that's what Afrofuturism means to me, briefly. One of us has to be moving towards that direction. Or there, there's some energy where that's what I desire. That's my intention or purpose for moving and creating.